This is an RCA AR77 shortwave receiver. I think this was built in the early 40s. I got this uh, from some seller who was selling it at a local flea market a couple of years ago. Um, it's typical, very high quality RCA construction. Uh, it's got quite a few tubes in it. I think it's got like 10 tubes. Um, you can kind of see the location of the tubes on that tube chart there. Um, the AR-77 it looks like it was produced about the same time as another RCA receiver called the AR-88. It seems to uh, share quite a few of the same design attributes. You know, it's it's got very similar uh, styling and whatnot. And the components, the unusual trimmer capacitors that are underneath the set and everything uh, seem to be very similar to what the AR-88 used. Now this is not nearly as uh, high-end as the AR-88. This was sort of like the baby brother of that. But it seems to be pretty well built in its own right. RCA made really good stuff. You know, it was very well engineered, very well built. They didn't seem to make too many receivers for the uh, civilian uh, shortwave listener market. They were more interested in uh, selling radios to the government uh, for the military purposes, especially during World War II. They, they were sold sold huge numbers of those types of radios. This is a civilian radio. Um, it appears to have had the power transformer replaced. This is not an original transformer, at least from what I can tell. The little cap you see here has a tube socket on uh, underneath it, and there's a jumper there, and when you remove the jumper you can plug a rectifier tube directly into the top of the uh, transformer and have it get rectified DC out of the uh, the um, the wires that are coming out of the transformer for uh, B plus high voltage. Um, the, none of the uh, AR-77 pictures that I've seen online have this kind of transformer set up so I'm presuming that this transformer has probably been replaced because the uh, original transformer that this set usually had in it was a more of a squarish uh, transformer. Uh, it didn't have this kind of bell housing thing on it. Uh, the, these, types of, these types of transformers that have the tubes that plug into them I associate more with Philco radios. This may have been what this came out of or whatever, but it does not, it really doesn't look original, so I think it has been replaced. But it looks, and I've noticed that there has been some work done underneath the chassis. There's been some capacitors that have been changed. Not all of them, though. And uh, you can see some pretty decent soldering job done on it uh, to replace the components so uh, some it looks like somebody got like halfway through it and decided not to pursue it anymore for some reason uh, this is an initial power up of the radio to see if it works I haven't done anything to it yet other than uh, remove the chassis because I'm going to do um, finish recapping it uh, finish whatever the previous owner didn't do and uh, anyway I will turn it on turn it up
Okay, so I'll give it give the dial a little spin here. We're on 49 meter band. The works are works of iniquity and the So great riches have come to know. The facts of iniquity wasting and destruction on their paths. Yes. The Copa Americana Centennial to be held this year in various U.S. cities. Looking for a ticket to the show. A nice little antenna trimmer there. Ten against, and if the goal. Sixteen cents. The market flirted with. Okay, we're on the AM band now. Call them. Nation doesn't exist. Right, and and that's why a huge part of. You know, the Piper. Under 90, Lakers 85. Start of the fourth quarter in time for our game summary brought to you by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is proud to sponsor. She goes on, pick up. Oh, no, it's a full stick. It just got knocked out of his hands. And the goal stick. Uh, about Juarez. Yeah. But I forget what it was called. But Narco, uh, Narco Cultura. The scripture. The scriptures will give you discernment. Uh, the other day, we're going to have a nice job shot today with the Bill Muller fail. For some reason, for some reason that seems to be cutting out right there. Not sure what that's all about. Yeah, you have to turn it to band two to get the latter half of the AM broadcast band.
You can find out more on his awful website, Screamer.com. And his great new journeys of dog heaven. His prospects for welcome transformation. Yeah, anyway, uh, for a first attempt, it seems to work pretty well. Um, I've noticed that the, the little flag that moves up and down here to tell you which band you're on, for some reason, you know, I've lubed it up a bit, but it still it doesn't want to move on the upper top band. It doesn't quite want to move all the way up. You have to force it. So there's something wrong there. Uh, some mechanical problem there. Um, the other thing I've noticed in the first three then Tracy. The question now, though, is what happens to him? And, you know, yeah. Ireland, along with Michael Thompson, were at Staples Center, Lakers and Thunder. Thunder 96. Okay. One thing I've noticed is that the carrier meter does not move. Now, you can get it to move by turning the RF gain down. You can see that it actually, the, the meter movement actually works. But the meter itself will not deflect as you're tuning stations in. So I have to figure out what's going on there. Killing the Lakers all night. They'll get a stop, but then they won't secure the rebound. Well, it's Lakers ball. Let's see if they can climb back in it. Okay. Anyway, that's a pretty good first attempt for this. Um, uh, I'll do some work on it over the weekend probably and then uh, try it again. <laughs>